What's happening, guys? Hey, you guys remember this spot? This is where Miss Stacy showed us how uh, Superman would do a water crossing. Whoa, that was deep. <laughs> Ow. Oh, man. But yeah, that's how Miss Stacy, or where Miss Stacy showed us how Superman would do a water crossing. So, uh, I've got a little bit of an issue. <laughs> I've shown you guys uh, a couple of roads that go up to uh, Cripple Creek, but I've never actually shown you Cripple Creek. Now, from our last one, Shelf Road, I tried to do a video going into Cripple Creek. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Uh, it, like, eh, let's say I just got half a video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a video inside of a video. So, here, why don't you guys watch the beginning of it. What's happening, guys? <laughs> well, today, me and Miss Stacy are just about at the end of Shelf Road. And we are going to be coming into a town called Cripple Creek. And Cripple Creek is an old, 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 old famous mining town here in Colorado uh, that has now kind of gone the way of Blackhawk, more with uh, casinos. <laughs> It's all casinos and old gold mines and lots of cool places to ride a dual sport. Now, for us, it's a little tough to get here. It takes like two hours to get here, whichever way you go. If you drive straight to Cripple Creek, it's about two hours. If you drive down to Canyon City, it's about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, if you're riding a dual sport and you're, you're driving, I suggest driving to Canyon City and then taking either Phantom Canyon Road for a longer trip or Shelf Road for a shorter, shorter trip. That's really cool. To come up, oh yeah, that is awesome. To come up to Cripple Creek and go gamble and have a very expensive dinner. <laughs> and ride your dual sport, because that's what you're really doing. So do you know anything about Cripple Creek? Like, any history? Not really. Uh, What's the name of the mine that's up here that you can go down in? It's the Molly Kathleen Mine. Molly Kathleen it's Mine. It's like 1,100 feet below. And, and it's an elevator? I think so. That's awesome. Take tours. It's a working mine. We should do that at some point. I know. We tried to do it once, I think. Or we were going to do it with uh, Timely. Oh, yeah. We were going to do it with Timely. We didn't. Timely is Tim and Emily. <laughs> They're our friends. <laughs> They're our friends from Pennsylvania. We've uh, we've combined their name to Timely. Uh, so yeah, I mean, other than that, I don't really know a whole lot about Cripple Creek either. Should we go? Do you want to go Boss Main Street? Uh, let's go look for ice cream. I like that hill, dude. Let's go up to that church. But my uh, my skid plate's driving me insane. It's vibrating. Again, since Tyler and I took off, uh, to, I had to take it off to do an oil change. <clears throat> oh yeah, so I guess Donkeys I'll let the at large. <laughs> huh? You should get a picture under that sign. Donkeys at large. I, that's awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. So I guess I'll let the cat out of the bag. What really happened uh, out on the trail at St. George, or I said, don't ask. My air filter was so clogged. You couldn't even see through it. It just had like dust everywhere. You gotta stop for them, yeah. I am. Go ahead. Um, and also, Zeno was extremely low on oil, which is bad. Are those those bathtub cutouts? You're good. Check it out. What? It's those bathtub cutouts that your grandma used to put on the bottom of her bathtub so you wouldn't slip. I don't know. Tell me you know what I'm talking about. Go right. I want to go up that hill. I need to go right and then go left. Oh yeah, they have a stop sign. Here's downtown Cripple Creek. Hello. So yeah, you can see these were all old uh, mining businesses. They're old mining companies or something that are now uh, 
casinos. The brass ass. It's right here, right? Yeah, we're gonna make a left. Whoa, does he have a stop sign? I don't know. No. No. Come on, dude. Alright, he stopped. downtown Cripple Creek. Not very big, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but there was a lot of gold to be had up here. You get turn signal, there you go. So that's that. <laughs> well, yeah, as you guys probably saw, things in this, uh, things on this little ride that I'm on right now aren't working out too well. I got a stranded wife. I'm gonna go well, she's not, actually, she's not stranded at all. That woman, Miss Stacy's one of the strongest chicks that I know. I mean, you know, she was kind of raised by guys. But there aren't too many girls out there that are like, bike's got a flat tire, trailer's got a flat tire. I'm just gonna take the wheel off and, uh, you know, hoof it down to somewhere and get the wheel fixed and uh, get that done and you know, be able to unload the bike by herself. Like, that's pretty impressive. She actually had to come up with her own method to unload the bike. <laughs> she had to tie it down, because it's really hard when there's nobody else there to, uh, when there's nobody else there to hold it steady for you because of the, uh, the way we strap them down. Uh, you really need somebody to counterbalance the bike while the other strap is getting taken off. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, she figured that out on her own, got that done, got, to, got the bike off. And uh, I'm just really impressed. You know, she's a, she's not a chick to mess with. She can hold her own. But at the same time, you know, she's, she's still a little girly. <laughs> she still has a little bit of girl in her. <laughs> she always jokes with me if, uh, you know, she always says like, I hope you don't mind being married to a dude. And I'm like, you know, you have some doodly ways, but in others, you know, you're still perfectly a girl. Looks like somebody had an aquarium incident. An aqua there was an aquarium massacre right there. It's totally what it was. 